much of what I do is actually very subconscious, so I, I try and use, uh, as I say, I'm not just interested in producing a sort of photographic representation of a place. So there's a lot of layering in terms of the things that influence me. I mean, it's my sort of theory that one of the, one of the reasons why so many St. Ives painters uh, use abstraction is it's because of the feeling of open space. Um, when you're standing on a beach looking at the Atlantic, the horizon's just going on forever, and it, it creates this feeling that you're not bound by land, and objects almost seem to float. So a headland will almost float in midair. You're aware of the clouds, the atmosphere, uh, and you know the wind coming in. So. I would firstly be aware of a huge sense of space, um, sort of stretching into the distance. It's a great sort of free, you feel a great sense of freedom, I suppose. That's, that's the thing I really feel when I'm at the coast. Probably the main focus of the work is a, quite a major series of Hong Kong paintings. Um, I visited Hong Kong just over a year ago uh, and the city just blew me away. I think it's the most fantastic place. And when I came back I just started work and uh, unexpectedly this whole series of paintings has, has come out of the visit. And it's also mesmerising, you know, those waves are constantly coming in and we, we can all just stand on the beach and quite happily just stare at the sea and it just sort of takes, takes over your brain. It's, um, it's just a very exciting environment. It's the feeling of grandeur that I'm looking for really, I suppose. Um, it's such an exciting environment. It's a slight change of direction because in the past a lot of my work has been sort of landscape based or sea based and I didn't expect um, the, the city to have such a, an impact on me. But it's actually allowed me to use very different forms or very different colours. I've tried to create the feeling of um, these lit buildings at night which are very dramatic. My name's Neil Canning, uh, and I'm, I should say an artist. I don't really like the word abstract, but uh, I'll just say I'm an artist or painter. Mm -hmm.